Glass City Communications in conjunction with Project Potemkin present this special episode of Star Trek Valkyrie. Vignette 3, Starbase 44. These are the adventures of the crew of the Starship Valkyrie in peacetime or wartime. Its mission is the same as all of Starfleet's. To seek out new life and new civilizations. To preserve the peace and protect the Federation. To brave the unknown in man's greatest frontier. Captain's Log, Stardate 9767.2. We're continuing our mapping mission in the Fornax Cluster after our stop at Starbase 20 for our inspection. While there, Starfleet took possession of the strange sculpture that Mr. Swanson received on the planet we visited in the Total Nebula, and was destroyed subsequently during the overload of the planet's remaining power plant. The idea of seeing parts of our past where life-changing decisions were made must have been interesting, but to also witness other information not known earlier and how that knowledge may have changed their lives may in some ways be troubling. I doubt that I'd want to see any of my own life-changing decisions. Shrun has decided not to contact his family, stating that such inquiries should be done in person and covertly. Mr. Fox has not said much other than he's happy with his decision, and the doctor has pretty much admitted the same thing. Gina, however, has expressed to me that she's troubled by what she's learned, and Dr. Ravenwood has made inquiries into her DNA through Starfleet Medical. She hopes to answer that question soon. Our current mission in the Fornax Cluster should keep us here for another week or so, and then we'll be moving on to the Gamma Taurus region. End log entry. Mapping of System FC-13 is complete. Ready to move on to System FC-14 at any time. Navigator, plot the course. Course plotted. Leading, Commander. Helm, execute the course at warp 4. Coming about to 255 mark 112. Executing warp 4, Captain. Drop us to impulse when we enter that system. Aye, sir. 6.7 hours at present speed, Commander. Captain, income signal from Starfleet, sir. On screen. Admiral Foster, what can the Valkyrie do for you, sir? Captain, I hate to pull you off your mapping mission, but there's an outbreak of Alterian flu on Paramour. They don't have the resources to fight the epidemic, so you are ordered to Starbase 44 to pick up the needed supplies and transport them to Paramour. The Excalibur will rendezvous with you there. She'll be bringing the supplies from Research Outpost B3. Orders acknowledged, Admiral. Good, Captain. Starfleet out. Gentlemen, you heard the orders. Course already computed, Captain. Course is 13 Mark 278. Ready on your command, sir. Travis, bring up all information on Paramore and Altarian flu. Ready to head to Starbase 44, sir. Helm, execute warp 6. Captain, Mr. Elberg wishes to report that engineering has finalized preparations for the ship once we arrive at Paramore. The area is known to have frequent ion storms. Transporters all fully operational and we've had crews readying the shuttles in Bay 5 in case they're needed, Captain. Thank you, Mr. Fox. Mr. Miller, prepare a roster for shore leave once we arrive at Starbase 44. Mland 6 has some nice spots to visit. 
Captain McDougall contacted me earlier, and we'll be beating the Excalibur there by about nine hours. Aye, sir. Say, two shifts of four hours each? Sounds good, Andrew. And, sir, I suggest you take shore leave yourself. You didn't take any leave last time. I think we can handle the ship for a few hours, sir. Thank you, Commander. I guess I could stand to take a rest. How long until we arrive? Twenty-three minutes until destination, sir. Reading a few starships already in orbit, sir. The Potemkin, Resolute, and Pearson, as well as a Klingon bird of prey, sir. Interesting. Mr. Miller, you have the bridge? Aye, sir. I'll be in the ready room. Miss Bellamy, contact Potemkin and pipe it into the ready room. Aye, sir. Lay in a standard orbital approach. Gina, raise the star base and let them know of our arrival in system and request an orbital position. Right away, sir. I wouldn't mind meeting for dinner, Ed. Maybe at Schmidt's, but uh, I've already got plans for the evening after that. Uh, but I know uh, Captains Ferguson and Bremley are here, too. Maybe you can get out with them tonight. <laughs> they talked about heading to Korgoth's. Huh. That Klingon bar? I thought he left 44 and moved out to K3. <laughs> he was going to, but uh, decided to stay. Got it. Sure, we'll have dinner and then I'll head over to Korgos. We'll be in orbit soon. Say 30 minutes at Schmitz? Sounds good. See you there. Gregory out. <laughs> Captain's log, Stardate 9769.8. Potemkin has entered orbit above Mlan 6 for Shorely at Starbase 44. I'm looking for a few extra hours of sleep. No, that's not it. A few hours of wanton carnality and debauchery. <laughs> no, strike that. A few hours of rest and relaxation on this rather barren world. Ducklings. <laughs> Ugly ducklings. <laughs> Watch your words, Arthur. I would hate for you to lose your tongue. I'd hate for you to lose a good customer, Korgoth. Our apologies, no offense intended. Here! Mike, I haven't seen you since the Battle of Serenidad. The loss was mothball. After that, I was reassigned. And now you're the Chief Helmsman on the Potemkin. Who'd you piss off to get that position? I'm surprised they gave you another command. I figured they might have given you a desk. From what I've heard, I'm not sure they shouldn't have given him a mop to push. You Gentlemen, I suggest we all drop the matter before we're all brought up on charges. Besides, I don't want to start something in a bar like this where we might not be able to finish. You moved there. We supposed to move there. You did a lot. No, I Hey. 
We need to get a move on, Mike. What's the rush? I've been here before. It's almost closing time. That was a terrible bar. Why on Zantharis would you drag me there? Did you pay for your drink? No. Neither did I. No one does as long as they're here at closing time. I'm not sure I can... Come on. I know a place down in the next plaza with the women I so... I know the place! This place. They don't have any of that closing time. Nope. Okay. But you're gonna love their happy hour. Energizing now, sir. Welcome aboard, sir. Thank you, Lieutenant. How many are still down on the planet? Only three more, sir. Very good. Let's get them aboard as soon as possible. Report, Commander. Cargo was secured 25 minutes ago. The last of the crew was just beamed aboard and we're ready to depart. And sir, I think you should read this pad, sir. The message is from Starbase Security. Have you done anything about this? Not yet, sir. I wanted you to read it first. I'm not at all happy about this, Commander. I suggest you deal with this immediately. Aye, sir. Mr. Reed, Mr. Swanson, in the ready room. Now. Miss Bellamy, notify Starbase Control of our departure. Helm, take us out of orbit and set course for Paramore. When we reach the warp barrier, go to warp 8. Aye, sir. Aye, sir. Leaving orbit now. I want to know why this ship was contacted by Starbase 44 Security about an incident at Korgoth's. I want an explanation. Now! You two are senior officers on this ship. Um... We apologize, Commander. Not good enough, Lieutenant. What happened? We were having a drink at Korgoth's, and Travis cheated at the game we were playing. I guess I overreacted. I didn't cheat. You apparently don't know the rules. Enough, both of you. How much had you both had to drink? 
I was on my third drink, sir. Me too, sir. And didn't either of you take an alcohol suppressant before going in? So, from those looks, I'd say no. Apparently, you were kicked out of the bar for drunk and disorderly. So Starbase Security had you both beamed up with a report to me. I expected better of you both. I'm disappointed in the way you presented not only yourselves, but this ship. The captain knows about this and told me to deal with it. So you're both on report. When not on duty, you are both combined to quarters for a week. Understood? Yes, Commander. Yes, sir. Dismissed. Taking care of, Andrew? Yes, sir. Good. And now let's do a mission briefing in, say, two hours, Commander? Hi, sir. I'll get it ready. Thank you.